Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today um, I want to talk a little bit about my moon boots and give a little bit of a review. I've had them now for about a month and a half so I think I can give some really good insight on whether or not they would be a good purchase for you, some of the things I loved and some of the things that I did not love about them. So if you're interested in hearing about that, um, if you want to figure out whether you're going to purchase these, stick around to hear what I have to say. So first and foremost, these were purely an impulse buy for me. Um, I was heavily influenced by TikTok and Instagram and some of the creators I follow on there and their super cute, wintry, you know, um, skiing pictures all over the place. So these were definitely not uh, a super in important purchase for me. Um, I, I did not need to buy these boots. However, I will say that I still... I'm super happy that I did um, and I'm going to tell you some reasons why. We'll start out with the pros with my moon boots. So pro number one, the aesthetic factor. These things are super fucking cute. Like I have the, f the furry option, um, black on black and I don't know they just look so chic and so cute um they really make any outfit whether i'm going out in sweats or uh you know jeans leggings whatever look super fashionable um they definitely are a trend piece i don't know you know how long these will be in style for but um we'll get into a little bit more later about why I don't think that actually really matters and uh yeah so number one they are cute number two they are practical and I know um some people are gonna hear that and think Alyssa how the heck are these things practical they look like horse hooves or like goat feet they're huge they look clunky how are these practical? And I will say that these are practical because they are seriously the warmest pair of winter boots I have ever worn on my feet, ever. Now, to put that into perspective, I am 31 years old and I live in Canada. Right, currently I'm in Edmonton, but I've lived all over Canada. And I have worn a pair of winter boots a time or two. Let me tell you, negative 40, negative 35, negative 20. Um, I've had Sorrels, I've had uh, Roots, I've had um, just a lot of winter boots, a lot of winter boots. And I will, I will say that while those ones are good and those will work, they're not cute like these. They're not cute like these. And Honestly, I feel like they're not warm like these. These things were so warm on my feet. If it was warmer than say negative 10, I did not want to wear them because my feet and my legs were sweaty. And I've never had that in a winter boot before. I would always put my, you know, thick, thick winter socks on, put my boots on with the liners, whatever else, and my toes would still be frozen. Or on the flip side of that, like your legs get frozen, you know, snow goes inside. I did not have that problem with these. These were warm, like to the point where when I put them on in the house, I had to leave immediately. Like the, I couldn't just stand around in the front entry because like I said, I would be sweating to death in these. So number two, they're super practical. They are warm. Um, a couple weeks ago it was like negative 40 every single day and I wore these out to shovel my sidewalk and shovel my driveway and I was not cold like I was not cold and to me that's just crazy so if you want your feet to be warm seriously warm these are perfect for that number three these are super comfortable like picture putting your foot inside of a pillow and then walking around like that, that is exactly what these are like. They are super squishy, super foamy. They like wrap around your foot and just hug it. And 
I could run in them, I can walk in them, I could climb in them, I can, you know, I feel like I could, I haven't tried it, but I probably could run on ice with them because they have the grips at the bottom, which are super handy. Um, these things are seriously, like having pillows on your feet, walking around, they are so comfortable. Probably one of the most comfortable pair of footwear that I have ever owned, ever. Um, so yeah. Number three, comfort. These things are no joke. They'll make your feet feel like they're walking in heaven. Comfortable. So to recap, they are cute, they are warm, and they are comfortable. Now I'm going to talk about some of the things that I didn't really like. So one of the biggest things that I did not like about uh, these boots was the price. And I know that they are kind of a luxury item, they're um, a fashionable item, they're very trendy, they're very popular right now, they're blowing up everywhere. I still did not like the fact that I had to pay almost $500 for these. Um, I'm not out here buying $500 shoes very often, so for me, the price was steep. But, having said that, um, given all the pros that I just said about these, I do think that they are worth it. They are pricey, they are expensive, um, but they are luxurious, and yes, they are worth the price. Last thing I didn't like about these was the fit around the calf area. And I know, Alyssa, you just said that they're comfortable, you just said that they're practical, you just said all these great things about them and how they feel on your feet. Why now are you bringing up the fit around the calf? Well, I have huge calves. Like, I, I don't, I, I haven't measured them, but they're big. My <laughs> legs have problems fitting into boots. Um, it wasn't crazy bad, like they're still wearable. It's not like I put my leg in here and then like the boot crunches down because my calves are too big. They will sit on my calves, but they are a little bit tight. Um, and yeah, I just feel like if you're paying, you know, close to $500 Canadian for something, they should be perfect from top to bottom. So yes, the fit around the calves is a little tight. They do have um, this do up here at the top, but for the most part, I feel like it's cosmetic. I can't really, like, I, I can feel that it does go around and, you know, but it's not, I don't know if you can see this, there's like two layers here. It's not this outer layer that has the problem, which is where the um, ties are. It's this inner fuzzy part that is just, just a little snug. And um, yeah, I just wish that there had been a little bit more room so that my calves didn't feel too constricted. Um, other than that though, like I said, these things are amazing. So yeah, for those two reasons, uh, if those things are, you know, big deal breakers for you, I would probably consider maybe getting a different boot or something else. There's lots of, um, th uh, sorry, calf high boots that are adjustable and do have the room and if uh, you really really truly want moon boots and you have bigger calves they have the um, ankle height ones or like just above the ankle they, they stop like right here and they are super cute they they come in I think the exact same styles and the exact same colors as their larger boots do um, and you would have no problems I feel like if you own those ones. I do not have any pairs like that, so I can't say for sure. Um, but yeah, there definitely is other options if having boots tight around your calf is just like not your thing. Okay, now for the part about not caring too much or uh, why I feel like it doesn't matter that these are a trend piece. Because of where I live, um, Having warm outerwear and outerwear that's functional when there's ice everywhere and snow everywhere and just 
misery everywhere <laughs> like eight months out of the year let's be real um because of that for me personally it didn't matter whatsoever that these are a trend piece i don't care if i'm wearing these you know three or four years from now and people are like what the fuck why are you still wearing moon boots those things are out of style those things are you know what is the word chuggy 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 whatever that word is i don't care i don't care i buy things especially things that are expensive because i like them and i'm going to continue to like them whether they're in style or out of style no matter who's wearing them or not wearing them these things for me just were like a game changer like they were a game changer so for those reasons i don't care that these are trendy I don't care if they go out of style. I'm going to keep wearing them. My feet are going to be warm. I'm going to be happy when it's miserable outside and I have to go outside. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't care about these being a trend piece. So to summarize, I absolutely think these are worth it, even though they are a splurge item. And there were um, there was one thing that I didn't really like about them. I still think they are worth it just solely for the fact that my feet were so freaking warm that I'd never had that before and that where I live, it's super important to not have cold feet. Um, I would absolutely recommend these. That concludes my review of my moon boots. Hopefully that helped you um, in making a decision whether they would be right for you or not, whether you wanna spend the money on them or not. Um, I am speaking solely from the perspective of somebody who lives in a frigid, cold wintry climate so maybe my opinion is not uh going to serve you <laughs> if you wore if you live like in warm climates or whatever i like i said could not handle wearing these if the weather was warmer than negative 10 so that's celsius negative 10 celsius so if you are in a place that is warmer than negative 10 celsius most of the time um you're probably going to be hot wearing these, but yeah, if that doesn't matter to you and you like what I had to say about them, I would totally purchase these. I would get them in every color, uh, big, small, furry, not furry. They really are worth it to me. So yeah.